Y'all, listen. I'm doing something a little different today um, to make my posts a little bit lighter from the last few that were so heavy. Let's talk about pie today. It's getting ready to be Thanksgiving in the U.S. next week, and most people serve pie at their dessert, uh, as their dessert, or at least as part of their dessert. I know in the South, we are, in the southern part of the United States, we are all about some pie, and in Arkansas especially, hillbillies love their pie. My granny was the best uh, cream pie maker in the world, and we had fruit pies and nut pies and all kinds of pies. I didn't realize until yesterday that there are people that do not know what pie is from other cultures. Um, I'm teaching second grade this week, and I had several Asian children in the class, and we were reading a book. Um, it was uh, Cloudy with the Chance of Meatballs, which was made into a movie, but it was part three, which was about pie, and they were like, what is pie? We've never had pie. I was amazed. I mean, I was shocked, um, because Southern kids grow up with pie. It's like a staple for dessert. So yesterday I read him another book um, about, that was day before yesterday, yesterday I read him another book called Enemy Pie and it was a little kind of moral lesson and so I got this big epiphany that I needed to make um, our theme this week kind of pie or fun theme because you know we have curriculum and then I kind of veer from that and and do some fun things. So today they're going to lose their minds um, I'm going to show you in just a minute why, but um, let's talk about pie. Pie, um, they're not really sure where it originated, but they think it was in uh, Greece or possibly Rome, but most sources say Greece. Uh, Greece was the first that came up with the pastry crust. Sorry about that noise. It's a school across the street. The kids are having fun. Um, Anyway, Greece came up with the bottom and top crust pastries. The first pies were actually probably meat pies with a lot of spices. They used a lot of different um, spices in them. Uh, England has a, a long history with pie. Uh, they were part of their meal, uh, especially their big feast, and they mostly it was meat and, and some heavy spices, birds, fowl, that sort of thing. Um, contrary to popular belief, uh, the pilgrims, when they came over and had their feast with um, the Native Americans, when the ships came over, they did not have pumpkin pie. Now, I don't know how that got into our history, but there was most likely not pie crust in the Americas back then, or in what was going to be the Americas. Um, that came on later in like the... I, probably the 1800s. The first pumpkin pie actually originated in England and it was boiled squash. It wasn't even pumpkin. So I don't know. I'm going to have to find a recipe for that because that's interesting. We eat a lot of squash where I'm from, but I've never had it in a pie. We've had it in casseroles. I don't know if it was a sweet pie or a savory pie. Probably savory. I don't know. Maybe a sweet squash pie, but I'm going to look for that and I'll report back later on that. Um, in the 1700s, uh, it's documented that there were three recipes for sweet pies. Um, by the 1800s, there were eight. They were all sweet pies, and they were served for dessert. By 1947, there were 65 recipes in a modern cookbook uh, of the time, 65 recipes for 65 different sweet pies. And let me tell you, I have tried just about every kind of pie there is. Um, I love pie. We say my figure was built on hot butter and honey buns and pie. <laughs> so um, the Ozarks, the Ozark Mountains were settled by the Scottish and the Irish mostly. There were a few outliers, uh, Germans and Italians and some other Slovakians and things like that. But um, the Scottish and the Irish were big on hand pies and that, that came from the British history as well. Just about every culture that I have uh, encountered uh, maybe with the exception of the Asian cultures, and I'll have to do some research on that, um, have a sort of hand pie. You know, their egg rolls are kind of like a hand pie in a way. But anyway, so um, I digress. So today at school, um, I'm going to have a pie feast for my kids, and I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you. Come on over here with me, and I'm going to show you what I've got. I didn't bake a bunch of pies because I'm lazy and it's expensive and I wanted to order pies a different bunch of different varieties but again that's expensive so I just went to the local Walmart and look what I got y'all these are mini pies we've got lemon we've got pumpkin we've got blueberry we've got strawberry cream 
just a couple of pecan because most kids don't like nuts. We've got chocolate, cherry. I got to confess, y'all, I had a cherry last night and apple. They are going to completely lose it, like lose it. Um, we're going to have a pie feast at the end of the day, and we're going to watch a movie called Chicken Run. That was my son's favorite, and it was about, um, it's animated, and it was about a bunch of chickens that are trying to escape being turned into a pot pie. Now, pot pie, not weed, not marijuana, but I grew up eating pot pies, and they are basically chicken and vegetable pies um, in a mini form. Uh, a little bit bigger than those little pies in there. So it's going to be a fun day. Um, I wish I could get some video, but it's I can't video the kids and, and show you online. It's just against um, school district policy. But a another fun fact, as I was doing a little research last night on the history of pie, I ran across a lady that is from Arkansas, my home state, and she has done a little documentary on pie and it in Arkansas and she has sort of given us the history of Arkansas with pie so I'm gonna put a link um, down below and you can watch that especially if you're from back home you're gonna love it I wasn't aware of this um, video and um, it makes me want to go back home and eat my way through the state and pie and um, any of y'all who want to go with me we can make it a group thing so anyway we're finishing up our week and it's it's been a pretty good week and um, just keep getting up, you guys. Be kind and love each other, and um, it's all going to be okay. I love you guys.